morning, everybody. May 15th, Saturday. Uh, the weekend is upon us. Um, before I get started with anything else, I just want to say my sister and my nephew said to thank everybody so much for their birthday shout outs yesterday. It was really cool. And uh, they were thrilled by it. So that was great. Um, and it, and I also, it, it's really interesting doing these because uh, suddenly I'm, you know, hearing from artists that I haven't talked to in a long time, I, even though we're, you know, we're, we're friends, it's just everybody goes off and does what they have to do in their lives. And uh, so I've been, I've heard back from everybody, Jude Cole, Janice Ian, Streisand, all these, these people doing their videos. And it was great this morning to get up and have a, uh, an email from Phil Kagey, just he's thanking me for uh, going back and listening to his music again. And he said, God, you know, I, I haven't heard those songs in so long. He said it gave him a whole new appreciation of what we did. So that was really cool. Um, so, so after Ted Knight, <laughs> I mean, some people, I saw a couple of, of comments where people were going, you know, why even do it if you really can't sing? Well, Ted could probably sing. Um, Ted Knight could sing. Ted Baxter was a character on the Mary Tyler Moore show. And that was the, what the, and his hook phrase on the show was, hi guys. And that was what the album was called. Hi guys. So it was a tongue in cheek comedy album, basically with him doing this. It wasn't Ted Knight trying to, uh, show that he had singing chops. So please don't, don't take what I put up yesterday. Seriously, I was only showing the kind of breadth of things that studio guys get called to do. And, uh, and that was, that was, you know, one end of the spectrum there, but that was Ted Baxter singing, not Ted Knight. So, but after that, I thought, let's visit a great singer. And, um, and I went back and was digging around and, uh, and was thinking about somebody who I loved working with so much. He's one of the more talented people I had ever worked with, um, and that's Kenny Rankin. And uh, hold on, get down to my copious notes here. I, I wrote a whole bunch of things about him. I mean, it was interesting. The last time I actually got to play with Kenny was shortly before he um, passed away, and um, he died of um, liver cancer. Um, and it was really terrible. He, he, he passed away three weeks after he was diagnosed with cancer. So it was fast and furious for him. But the last time we actually played was at the Mark Taper Forum here in, at, at the Music Center in downtown Los Angeles. And we were celebrating Hal David's 90th birthday. And um, it, was, it was wonderful. Uh, I mean, Hal, Hal was a true American treasure. Um, the music that Hal David and Burt Bacharach wrote is, is, is indelibly etched in, in our culture. And uh, Hal was an absolute delight to be around. Uh, right up to the very end, he was a hoot. Um, but we got to, we had a whole bunch of artists, Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder, a whole bunch of people came and played this, this show on, you know, honoring Hal. And that was the last time I played with Kenny. Um, but uh, this album uh, is called I'm Hiding in Myself, and it's from 1988 was when we did this. Jeff Weber produced it, and we did it at Ocean Way Studios. Um, and it's interesting with Kenny. It's when um, Lennon and McCartney were inducted into the Songwriter Hall of Fame. Um, Paul asked Kenny to come and perform his version of Blackbird for their induction because Kenny did a beautiful, beautiful rendition of Blackbird. I thought that was really, uh, really cool. And uh, I mean, Kenny has a really, had a really extensive history. And uh, all these people that I talk about uh, on these are, well, if you like the music, they're well worth looking up and seeing, because I could sit here, I could do a half hour just talking about all of their accomplishments and what they've had done in their careers. But it might be more fun to be listening to the music and reading about them kind of like a, like an old album where you listen to the music and read the jacket on it, you know, and get all the information that way. Or like when I was a kid, you'd sit at the breakfast table reading the cereal boxes. You ate cereal, you know, it was all these things. But um, Kenny was real involved. He, he did a lot of touring with George Carlin. 
um, they, they were quite a team together and um, uh, just interesting people. You know, I, I, that's one of the things that's so fascinating is when you start to dig deeper into these people, you just, you just go, man, this is amazing. Um, and you look at their history, where they grew up, how, how that locale affected what they did musically, um, the kind of relationships that, because of location, that they were able to um, generate and would last, you know, potentially for most of their lives. I mean, it's, it's really incredible. And I find it endlessly fascinating. Um, but, um, but I thought I'd do a, a few songs that we did with Kenny, because he's just an exquisite artist. His guitar playing was really unbelievably good. And, uh, and just, he, he could cover a lot of territory vocally, but he was, you know, his jazz singing was, was really, really something. And so, um, uh, the first one I'm going to play is a song called Velez, V-E-L-E-Z. And the band on this, I mean, it's, it's a great band. Um, uh, it's myself on bass, Vinnie Caliuta on drums, the great Robin Ford on guitar, Randy Kerber on keyboards, um, Chris Trujillo on percussion, and oh, and actually uh, Gerardo Velez. I don't think they, the title had the same meaning to his his last name, but um, Gerardo and and Chris Trujillo are on percussion on this. So take a listen. This is just beautiful stuff. <laughs> Andy Kerber's great keyboard player. Robin 
What an exquisite band. And Robin Ford, such a great guitar player. And Randy Kerber is just such a great keyboard player. And Vinny and the, and listening to the lyrics, I'm I'm I take that back. I think Velez is about uh, Gerardo Velez, who played percussion on it. As soon as he I heard the line, you know, playing timbali and everything, I went, oh, it is about him. I wasn't wasn't quite sure, so it was it was good to actually focus on the lyric and realize that that was what was happening. Um, here's another one called Muddy Creek Road, and this one, uh, th this is pretty stripped down. This is myself, um, Vinny again on drums on it, um, Kenny, of course, <laughs> on it, and John Sebastian, uh, the great John Sebastian from Love and Spoonful playing banjo and harmonica on this one. So here's Muddy Creek Road. God, Kenny, it's such a great voice. Jesus, it's like butter, butter. You know, it's just amazing. Here we go. She's my man. to look the way that in I do. In a long time. When I tell them, it's not... Uh, sorry. I'm going back to the top. It's a great song. Not commercials. Ugh.
know too it's like when we did the sessions like this and so many others at best we were given a chord sheet just a basic structure of the song and then everything else is left to us our own devices in terms of creating the parts that go with those chord changes and that to me is the exciting um the exciting aspect of this whole thing is that you Every day you get to use your creative juices. Um, you know, it'd be one thing if you came in and you were looking at lead sheets and everything was written out. Then you're just a vehicle to um, to read the parts and make them as best you can. But when you come in and there's very little information for you, so then it requires you to dig into your own thoughts and, and interpretations of the songs. That's really when it gets exciting to me. And, uh, and the... Uh, interplay that happens between the players at that point where everybody's like, you know, just swimming around in this, finding these parts, and then it comes back, it comes together, and then you've got a take, and you got a song. That's really, really great. Um, here's, an, here's another one. This is called Keep the Can Candle Burning on this, and this is, again, myself on bass, Vinnie Caliuta on drums, Robin Ford, Randy Kerber, and Chris Trujillo, and Kenny Rankin. So here we go. people's tax dollars to buy you a new no. state of the arts screw you not a good day for this i'm going to go back to the top again sorry some days have a good stretch of no commercials all of a sudden Never lose the light. 
I just love that stuff. You know, and the thing that's beautiful about this is, this is the, like the genius of guys like Vinnie Caliuta. I mean, Vinny is probably one of the most unbelievable drummers. Can do, there's nothing beyond his scope that he can't do on this. I mean, most drummers in the world, when you mention Vinnie Caliuta, they just go, oh boy, man, wow, that's, that's a whole other league, man. Vinny, he's Vinny. And here he is on this, just sitting there letting the thing cruise because he knows what's needed. It's not like, dig me. I got lots of chops. Check me out. Um, that's the beauty of guys like him. I mean, it's just like so much facility, but, he, but so much taste and understanding of music. And I'm thrilled. I, I've got a session with Vinny uh, Tuesday uh, of next week. And it'll be great to see him again. And, uh, but all these guys are just such such beautiful players, Randy Kerber and, and Robin Ford. And God, Kenny's amazing. So I'll do one more song here, I think. I just, I love this stuff. And this uh, yeah, gives, gives me goosebumps. And this one is called um, Love Inside. And this is me and Vinny and Robin Ford and Randy Kerber, Chris Trujillo, and uh, Gerardo Valdez. Uh, they're on percussion. And... Um, Let's just listen. It's just I'm, I dig all this stuff, and there's a ton of great songs on this album. And also, I think I worked on his "Like a Seed" album. I might have a couple of tracks on that. But the body of Kenny's work is really astounding. And if you like this man, go check it out because he's got lots of stuff. And he was a when when I heard he had passed, man, it was heartbreaking because he's one of those artists that you just go, God, I love. You know, like to be like Tony Bennett or somebody. He's one of those guys that could have been in his 80s you know, still putting it down. Yeah, it's, uh, it was really something terrible to lose this guy. But uh, here we go. This is Love Inside. No commercial, I hope.
Ford is such a great guitar player. You know, you see a lot of these lists of who's the best guitar player and all that. And, you know, and there's a ton of these guys that are just great. And, and Robin, man, fits like right in that the, the cream of the crop of really great, tasty guitar players. And I, this was really, the more I listened to this, the more I remember what a fun project um, this was. And uh, there was a, a track on here that we did with uh, David Benoit on piano. It was really beautiful, really good stuff. Kenny, man, was one of those primo artists that, you know, when I got to work with him the first time we got in the studio, I just went, oh, man, this, this, this is deep. This cat's great. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you go back and check out more of his stuff and, and realize what a beautiful legacy this, this brilliant musician left behind. So um, so that's, that's our little journey for today. I'm going to, uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to do, and I'm going to get started on it. I've got to do some charts and stuff for some stuff next week, and just take care of a bunch of stuff. And um, so I'm going to wish everybody a fabulous weekend, a wonderful weekend. Uh, if you get a moment, um, again, 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 let me put it up here. Here's our immediate family, Can't Stop Progress EP is out. And if you get a moment, uh, if you go and throw a like on our, our YouTube channel and our Facebook pages and all that. Um, we're trying to build community for the band as we look towards gigs coming up later in the year. Um, lots, of, lots of possibilities building. It's uh, all predicated on people doing the right thing and things getting better all the time, not, not slowing down and stopping or going backwards. So, so have a great weekend. Thank you for the people who don't get their weekends. They're still working every day, coming in contact with the general population, and uh, and uh, it's uh, it's still scary times. So let's not get complacent about this. And uh, and again, thank you for the birthday wishes for my sister and for my nephew. That was cool. So take good care, and I will see you um, all tomorrow. My weekends don't go away either, but I love my weekends to come here and visit with you. So. Here we go. Bye-bye.